finally, Chad, you mentioned it, uh, but you are headed to Odessa this week. Uh, you're going to cover the Midway Panthers. Ah, there you go. A little Friday Night Lights. Nice, nice. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, that's an iconic high school football destination made famous by Friday Night Lights, that book by Buzz Bissinger, and, of course, the movie of the same name. Uh, I don't think... I only watched a very little bit of the TV show, but I don't think the TV show had anything to do with Permian. Well, it wasn't even set in Odessa. It was like some made up town, right? Yeah, West Dillon, Canaan. Right. No, West Canaan is, is uh varsity blues, right? Uh, yeah. I think it was Dylan, right? The Dylan Panthers maybe. Yeah. I think that's right. Yeah. Uh, anyway. um, yeah. I just checked the copyright in this book and my edition is 1991. And I'm not sure when exactly I read it, but I know I was in junior high when I read Friday Night Lights. And so even though, even though I went to Texas Tech and covered high school football out there for three years, um, I never went to Ratliff Stadium. This will be my first time going there and uh, really excited about it. Um, you know, uh, Friday Night Lights wanted, made me want to write uh, a book, you know, mm. and, and I ended up writing Republic of Football, which was kind of my answer to Friday Night Lights, I guess, you know. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, to me, uh, one of the first books I can remember that like took you behind the scenes was uh, a book called A Season on the Brink. It was written in the 80s by John Feinstein. He he was behind the scenes with the Indiana Hoosiers basketball team. But Mm -hmm. shortly thereafter, I read Friday Night Lights and I was like, dude, you know, Texas Mm -hmm. high school football, this is what it's all about. You know, I mean, it was just well-written, well-researched. I thought Buzz Bissinger did a great job of, um, of bringing the characters to life as real people. I mean, obviously they were real people. So Mm -hmm. um, anyway, we went off on a little tangent there, but um, my question to you guys is, you know, with Ratliff Stadium sort of in mind as a as this iconic destination, um, got me to thinking about like bucket list sports places. So where would that be for you personally? It does not have to be high school football related. Uh, you know, where would you most want to go? Go ahead, DJ. I have a few. I can't really just pick one. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, obviously, y'all know I'm obsessed with baseball. Sure. So, uh, if I could go back in time and go to Rosenblatt and watch the College World Series at Rosenblatt, that'd be a dream. Um, Chad, didn't you go to Rosenblatt? No, it was at uh, the New Park. Okay. By the time I went, yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, but definitely Omaha. Um, MLB wise, I'd love to go to Fenway at some point. Mm. Um, I've only ever been to Minimate and Globe Life. So uh, my dad Wrigley. trains racehorses. So, huh? Wrigley. Yeah, I would, oh, yeah, I would also Wrigley. chime in Wrigley. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, my dad trains racehorses. So Churchill Downs. Um, mm. We've never had a horse run well enough to make it to the <laughs> Derby. But, that would be tough, yeah. Well, that would be really cool going to Churchill Downs for the Derby because you had a horse running in it. That would be yeah. something. Um, and then recently I've gotten into motorsport because some of my best friends are really big motorsport fans. I'm mostly watching F1 right now. Um, going to an actual Grand Prix would be impossible because the tickets are like five thousand and ten thousand dollars. Um, but uh, maybe at some point going to like the Monaco Grand Prix or Monza, and those are both in Europe, so it'd be expensive. But um, yeah, I, I don't know. That'd be a really cool experience just being at an F1 race, like right there, the car's going 2,000 miles an hour um, on some really good tracks, so some really historic tracks as well. Um, I think the, that'd be really fun. Awesome. Good answers. Chad? Well, you know, Rattler Stadium is up there. That's a cool one. I'm I'm definitely not under under uh, underrating that experience. But um, you know, the Rose Bowl is always one. And in fact, when they talked about uh, you know, Big Twelve, Pac twelve mergers before, you know, before UCLA and U- USC uh, decided to split, um, I thought you know that would be cool to go to LA 
and go to a game in the Rose Bowl uh, to see Texas Tech play there. You know, I don't know that Texas Tech will ever qualify to play in the Rose Bowl game. So, you know, that's – but that would be fun. Um, uh, also, uh, speaking of Europe, maybe Wembley Stadium, going to a, a soccer game in Wembley. And then um, – Stateside, you know, Bush Stadium has kind of started to creep up on my list. I feel like maybe it's the next one behind Fenway and Wrigley in terms of, or Yankee Stadium, too. Mm. I, I'm kicking myself for not going to the old Yankee Stadium. So those are a few of mine. Those are good ones. Uh, Bush Stadium certainly known for just rabid, rabid baseball fans. I mean, I, mm-hmm. I have a couple of really good friends who are Cardinal fans, and I can vouch for that, that they're – uh, insane. Um, <laughs> so my own uh, answers to this. Uh, so part of it would be um, the the game as much as the destination. Um, so I have covered a uh, national championship football game. Uh, that was at Jerry World. That was the year Ohio State won. Um, uh, I've covered a couple of national championship basketball games, both men and women, but, but like two men's uh, UConn uh, one with Kemba Walker. I covered that one at Jerry world. And then um, of course, Baylor. Um, but I, I haven't been to the world series. I haven't been to the NBA finals or the super bowl. Those would be like bucket list things, I think. Um, and I, I've wanted to go to the world series just as a fan um and again as dj mentioned a tough ticket to get price wise um but certainly those would be up there and then uh i have personally i've been i've been a lot of cool places and um dj i would certainly recommend wrigley as a baseball destination but i've never been to new york city and i want to go to msg i want to go to yankee stadium i want to go to rucker park and uh, play a little, you know, pickup game at Rucker Park. Uh, I would probably get, you know, like booed off the court. But you want to actually play in a game? Yes, at Rucker Park. Yeah, I mean, I still get up and down the court, you know, as an old man. So I would, All I right. would love to play a game at Rucker Park. I want to be the guy sitting there with my phone on the sidelines when you do that. <laughs> my camera up, <laughs> booing me. 